That's not a Harley Davidson, and that's not a Harley Davidson. Bullshit. <laughs> that's what I've been hearing so much. He's Ever since this bike came out, that's all you hear is that that's not a Harley Davidson. So yeah, the hardcore Harley Davidson rider is, is gonna say, yeah, that's not a Harley Davidson. Let me tell you what, this is probably one of the funnest bikes that I've ever been on. Um, and it's, it's, it's just something else. It's packed with a bunch of tech. It's packed with a bunch of everything and fun. And the fact that you can take it off road and it does amazing on road and everything. It's just wow. It has the wow factor to it. All right, guys. So we are, we had even, what? Got to... What? You're, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So. I'm here with main man Jerry, the coolest white guy. No, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. And right here we have his 2021 Pan America special. Right there we got my 2021 Pan America special. So Jerry you guys in all black. I got the uh, green color right here. Beautiful, amazing bikes. Um, we're gonna be doing the review today of the bike. Super happy. Before we hop into that review, do you have any questions? What do you think of it? Uh, I absolutely love it. Yeah. I, I really do. I, I, I didn't think it was going to be as fun. Um, as you know, from the beginning, before even the bike released, I was a huge fan of it. Yes. Right away, as soon as, as I saw the design, I was like, wow, that's probably the nicest ADV bike. In the looks department, I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I would tweak up a few little things that I don't like, like the huge exhaust on the side, which looks a little too crazy, but they are aftermarket parts uh, exhaust out there right now. We're looking at the TBR one right now. There's a Toke. I've seen a Toke and I've heard it in person. Sounds amazing. The Vance and Hines sounds pretty good. Um, and the Screaming Eagle pipe actually sounds really, really it's good. It's big. It's just it's smaller than this, but it sounds really, really good though. All right, so the 2021 Pan America, absolutely beautiful, 150 horsepower, 94 uh, foot pounds of torque. Um, it is a torque beast. Um, favorite part about this bike and my favorite things is that it has riding mode. So yes, you guys heard me on the channel before and we spoke about it plenty yes. of times. Harley Davidson, we want riding modes. Obviously we saw it first on this bike. Now we saw it trickling down to the Sportster S, which is pretty cool. And hopefully in the future we can see those riding modes coming onto the baggers and the soft tails and everything else. So that would be pretty cool. So the fact that this bike already comes with road mode, rain mode, sport mode, which is my favorite, off-road and off-road plus. And then on top of that, you're also able to maneuver a few things around and make up your own mode, tweak things a few things around depending on what type of riding you're gonna do, uh, but you're also, you have the option to do that, which is awesome. Um, you have these two bikes right here. These are the specials, but they have the mag wheels. Now you also have the option to pay a little more for the spoke wheels, which in my opinion, the spoke wheels is the way to go. Um, I would, uh, if, if, if I was to keep this bike, because this bike is only a loaner, I gotta give it back in a month to Bergen Harley Davidson, which huge shout out to Bergen County Harley Davidson for loaning me this bike for a whole month. Like, you guys are awesome. But yes, if I was to buy this bike personally, I would definitely get the spokes. I think the spokes look really cool. I like the nice beefy tires that it comes with as well. Um, you're gonna see on here that they come with the crash guard. So you're gonna, in the event of this bike falling when you're off-roading or doing some dirt shows and anything like that, this bike will fall and you're not gonna break any of the plastics around here. Um, it's really, really well covered. Um, and from what I've seen on other videos of people dropping it, as soon as they drop it, the bike actually, it stays intact. Nothing happens to them, which is really, really cool. So you're gonna have that there. Um, the pegs are really nice, they're real sturdy, especially when you're riding and you're standing up, which to me, this, this bike is pretty awesome because it's an adventure bike. And a lot of the riding you're gonna do when you go off-roading, you're kind of standing up. I kind of like to do it when I'm in, like riding through the country. I was on Long Island. Um, we did around 230 miles on Sunday on Long Island and it was all uh, farmland, strawberries out there and the vineyards and the wines and I just just stand in, cruising, looking over everything which is pretty awesome. So um, I like the I like how I'm able to feel comfortable while I'm standing out on this bike. You're gonna have your hand guards on here which is pretty cool. A little flimsy, they do come off pretty quickly but I don't think they're meant to be, you know, uh, beautiful and nice and detailed like we expect on most of the Harley Davidson bikes that we see. Cause that's one thing you think about a Harley and everything needs to look a certain way, feel a certain way, it can't feel cheap. Um, you, could, you could agree with that with any cruisers. You don't want anything feeling too plasticky or whatever it is. Yeah. But on this, this is a different type of bike. So yes, plastic right here. 
I'm not a fan of the mirrors. They look a little, I think they could have done a little better design with the mirrors. Um, they just, they, they're, I don't know, they're just not that good looking. Um, they work real well. They work real well. I mean, I don't know. They actually, they're, they're a bit shaky. I'll be honest with you. Yeah? They're a bit shaky. Uh, they're very, very shaky. Um, the adjustable windshield in the front, which is pretty cool. Even while you're riding, you're kind of, sometimes you're able to adjust it uh, with one hand. Sometimes you need two hands, but you're also able to adjust that. They also do have already aftermarket, but not after. Harley makes different ones. Uh, smoked out windshields in the front, yeah, which look pretty they're nice. Wider. They're shorter. Have you seen them? Yeah, but they're wider. <clears throat> and they're wider. I think I think they look great. If I you get the blacked out one, you should. I keep it all down all the time because if I put it up, I get buffeting because of yeah, the height. Yeah, it, it, it depends. Um, I'm still playing around with the buffeting um, to see exactly where my perfect you know height will be at. Um, but the, the one that they sell, it's amazing. Um, you're going to have that display screen right there, which is awesome. We'll get into that. We're going to be doing this little show right now, and then we're going to get on the, on the road right now. We'll talk a little bit more about the screen and everything else. Um, the 5.7 uh, gas tank right here, really, really good. The type of mileage you're going to get on this bike is really good. Um, it's you're, you're averaging around 47, 48 miles to, to the gallon, which is not that bad. Um, and if you're on road mode, you're, it's going to last you longer, obviously, being on sport mode. Um, and then we've got the Red Max engine right here. Beautiful design engine. Feels great. Full of torque. Is it going to sound like your classic Harley Davidson? Absolutely no. not. It's not. But the performance of it is what we're here for. This is what we've been wanting. 150 horsepower coming out of this. And uh, let me tell you, it feels great. Um, best thing about this bike is that once you're in gear you're running you're able to switch those modes on the go you don't got to stop and you know like some bikes you got to stop and change your modes you don't do that you change any mode as long as you're riding you're gonna have heated grips on here which is a plus and they work great and once we're on the bike we'll go over all the buttons and everything on here as well the seat i gotta tell you is really comfortable like i said i spent 230 miles on sunday how's your seat the stock seat I'm actually really good with it. I thought about changing it to like a Corbin or something like that, but then I'm like, it's comfortable. When it's, I've done 200 mile days. Yeah. I'm not really doing beyond that, two, 250. That's right now, about I, it. I'm, I'm, I plan to do a longer ride soon on this bike because I just want to really take it to its uh, capability. Um, and we're going to be taking it off road as well. So, yes, you're probably wondering, are you going to take it off road? Yes, that's coming. I got like two or three videos coming just on that. So, tune in. That might be like in a week or two. Um, but yeah, I love the seat. Absolutely comfortable. Um, even the back seat, because I remember when, where, where, where were we going? We were going to Bergen. To pick up your bike. To pick up one of my bikes. And I, Jerry was like, you know what? Just hop on instead of taking Uber. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to hop in the back seat and I'm going to see how it is for the passenger. So as a passenger, I'll give you the review. It feels great back there. It's really, really comfortable. Especially you got yours hooked up all the bags in the back, yeah. right? Now I do, yeah. That looks really nice. I like it. It looks really clean. Um, the bags on this bike do stand out a bit too much so you're gonna be a lot more wider than let's say a road glider or street glide a lot more glider so let me tell you you're not gonna be slitting anytime on this bike it's, it's just no way uh, but the bags the design looks great they look similar to the to a BMW does with the GS and all the uh, other um, adventure bikes um, but a solid solid bike yes it is a uh, really tall bike as well so as you guys know I'm more on the shorter end Jerry you're what six two six one six three I'm like five seven and a half on a good day, let's say five seven to be fair. Um, I need these boots. So without these boots, I am not gonna be able to get on this bike. Well, kind of, because the other day I got on your bike and I had my Vance on. Yeah. And I was fine. Um, these bikes do not have the uh, adaptive ride height, which it's it's weird because I felt it on Jerry's bike, I felt it on my bike. Um, sometimes you're able to turn it on, you're in neutral, and as soon as you sit on the bike, it'll sink down a bit. It'll, it'll sit down about an inch, but they don't come with the adaptive ride height. Um, it doesn't do it all the time. So if I'm coming to a stop, it's not going to do it. it only, I only notice it when I turn the bike on and it dips down. But let's say if you did have the adaptive ride height, as you're riding, anytime you're coming to a stop sign, the bike will you know, uh, drop down about an inch and a half, maybe two inches, it depends. Um, suspension, let's talk about suspension. Amazing! Oh my God! You got the uh, your, your that electric suspension that you have on there is it, it's dynamic, man. Um, mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. If you haven't been out to Long Island, the roads out there are not the best. A lot of those roads out there are horrible, potholes and sinking and bumps and this and cracks and everything. <clears throat> when the rest of the pack was like jumping all over the place, 
Everybody's on Road Glass, Street Glass, and Soft Tails. And I'm telling you that I'm riding and I'm like still, it's like I'm on Lincoln. That's what it felt like. Suspension I hear is amazing. Just really, really just good. Just right over. You, you, it, you don't feel anything. Nope. It's great. Like, and, and you're thinking, hey, am I really on a Harley right now? Like, there's no vibration. There's, it's not throwing me up in the air. It just, it feels great, man. Skip plate in the front, which is amazing. The uh, Harley also sells a bigger one. So if you are going to be mainly using this bike for off-roading, you're probably going to want a bigger skip plate, mm -hmm. which they provide. So in the uh, parts and accessories, you can definitely find that there. Um, little issues that you are going to find with this bike that some people have had, like Jerry had a few little issues with your what, your exhaust uh, covers. Yeah, the exhaust covers snapped off here because of the weld, so they gave me a new head pipe warranty. Then I had um, a problem with the dash, um, they upgraded the ECU, mm -hmm. um, they, they changed the font, they changed the hill hold from like 30 seconds to like 5 minutes. And then they had a problem with the seat base breaking off because it was flimsy. Not on your bike, though. Yes. Was that on your bike? Well, it didn't break, but they changed it for it, recall. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, was, it was a recall. Yeah, well, the only issue I had was they had this coming off. And, of course, when you ride it, without the heat shield, you your burn a hole. Your pants burn. <laughs> you burn a hole in your jeans. Yeah, but you got that all sorted out, right? Yeah, they so gave me a brand new head pipe. Any anything. issues besides that? No, not at all. Perfect. I think it's time to just take this show on the road and we'll keep talking about the bike. Easy start. So power off, power on, as you can see right there. Press this down. Oh, you got to hold down for like two seconds. Um, you got your mode button right there. Your dual turn signals. Um, and then you're also able to, if you download the Harley app, you're able to connect your phone uh, through the screen right here. And then you're also able to access everything. So everything's about Bluetooth. So if you want to listen, you got speakers on your uh, in your uh, helmet or whatever. Able to adjust everything through here. Um, talk communication as well. Uh, your traction control button right there. Turn signals for Harley Davidson. Very weird. This side controls obviously your left and your right side. Uh, as a Harley Davidson rider and owner, you, you know you usually have a button on each side. But I think they they should have kind of integrated that somehow I, I don't like this button here to both my turn signals i'm just I'm not used to it either you got your horn button right here it sounds like a little beep um yeah you have uh cruise control right here which is amazing i love cruise control on this bike feels great uh your heated uh grips right there and if you want to toggle through the screen right there cruise control button then this button here is just to flash your high beams um also another thing this bike comes with is the lever so you're, it comes with the adjustable levers which is pretty cool so you don't you never see that on harley davidson uh adjustable levers for both sides your clutch and your brake as well that's pretty much all the buttons uh you're able to navigate through the screen right here as well there's the screen right there you want sport mode at the moment let me see we just Put it on regular road for the first duration of the part of the video. Um, and that's it. Let's talk about comfort first and uh, everything else, right? So, like I was mentioning before, I'm 5'7. Um, when it comes to the seating position, you're very upright, more upright than what you'll be like on a regular cruiser. So, it feels really, really good. Um, you're not gonna have that, you know, fatigueness as much as you being on a cruiser um when you're you know doing a few hundred miles here and there like i said i haven't done crazy amount of miles out here did a 230 mile trip on sunday um and i didn't really have any fatigueness on this bike i wasn't tired at all and it was really comfortable the whole time i wanted to keep riding which is pretty cool which is you know if you're going to plan a long ride on this bike you want to know that you're going to be fatigued or not right to so those long miles this red max engine man <laughs> the red line's at 9,000 RPM, which is crazy. When I first took this bike out of the dealership, I was like treating it like like a like an air cooled engine, and I was switching gears at 35, 4,000 RPM. And it's like, dude, like you you could go all the way to 9,000 if you wanted to, and it's just, it's great, man. It's great. A lot of top power, a lot of power at the higher RPMs, man. These heater grips, by the way, they're they're not really thick either, so they feel really comfortable. 
the mirrors like i was mentioning i'm not a huge fan of the mirrors uh high speeds they do i feel like they do vibrate a bit too much uh more so than let's say my low rider s or my uh road glide at that um, and I just, I don't like the design of them. I'm a, I'm actually a huge fan of the Harley Davidson mirrors for some reason. Yeah, I like them. Uh, these I don't like that much. Hand guards look really cool, man. Like I said, they're a little flimsy. Um, <clears throat> another thing talking about that, the windshield is a little flimsy though. When you, when you adjust it and you move up and down, it does feel a bit flimsy and like very plastically. Um, then again, I'm coming off of a road glide where everything is very pristine. Everything feels right to the touch. Um, I'm not used to having so much plastic and mm, these type of touches everywhere. Now, you're also going to have six gears right here as well. As you can see, that's what Jerry looks like on his bike. He's 6'1", 6'2". And he says that he's very, very comfortable on there. As you can see, the seating position is very upright very very comfortable and let me tell you this bike looks really good let's talk about the looks department real quick uh the front of that uh of this bike is probably my favorite part of the bike it just looks like a bike that's coming straight out of an apocalypse movie and it, you're ready to <laughs> arm some guns on this and just go out blazing and kill some zombies that that's what this bike looks like man I'm really a huge fan I love the light. I mean, I know the, the light was a big thing at first when it came out with design and it, there were, it was like a Cyclops light and a lot of people don't like it. I, I absolutely, I think that's what makes this bike so special and it looks so cool is the design of that front light. It looks really, really great, man. Uh, the tank design, I love the lines. I have the fairing right there. Uh, goes right into the tank. The lines look really, really nice. Um, even where they position the turn signals in the front, it's a really really nice place as well uh the backlight in the back looks really nice as well and then uh, i'll go ahead and i'll stand up right here uh so when i stand up it just feels great man uh, most of the harley riders gonna be like well why do you want to ride around standing on a bike well for adventure riding when you're off-roading uh, a lot of people do ride standing up like i'm like almost tippy towing um so if you're around my height, this is what you're going to be dealing with. That's why I got these boots as well. They're very, very helpful when it comes to, you know, sitting on a high bike like this. Um, but if you're a taller rider like Jerry, then you're you're fine. He's basically flat footing the bike right there. Now, the ergonomics of the whole, you know, ratty triangle, like I was saying before, the way he's sitting very upright. Um, but the whole bar setup is very, very comfortable. I think it's positioned at a really good place. Everything flows. Um, everything feels natural. I have like a little slight bent to my elbow right here. Um, and it just it, it feels natural that that's mainly it. <laughs> it, it just gets up to speed so fast so so fast man it feels great you might be wondering uh how is the screen when the sunlight hits it um i haven't had any issues uh it's very visible especially where it's at right there is is placed at a really nice uh angle um and the, the sun doesn't you know you never really have those crazy glares where you're not gonna be able to see the the screen so they did a really really good job with the screen um you're also able to tilt it um forward or back a bit depending on how you want it um just a little smidge nothing crazy Woo! <laughs> it's, it's like you could go over anything with this bike and this is it's fun man i really cannot wait to take this bike off-roading want to do all sorts of crazy stuff man go ahead and uh put this thing on sport mode now and it's like instant that, that's what i want to let you guys know as well as soon as you change the mode it's it goes instant feel into whatever mode you're going to put it so if you're going from you know road mode to sport mode you instantly feel it right away and if you were to you know toggle through um you instantly feel the changes depending on the type of riding mode that you're putting on now it's really cool that they have an off-road and then they got an off-road plus obviously off-roading you know you're going on a dirt track a dirt road whatever it is that's cool um but if you also want to get a little more extreme over some bigger mountains or go in and out of crazy places then they got off-road plus which is awesome as well so a lot of different options on here um i like this design right here on the dash very very cool 
there's one thing about this bike that really stands out to me and i really love is the comfort it's also the fact that it's so well balanced it's very like the center of gravity it just feels great the bike just feels planted down to the ground so well that it just it doesn't feel like it's gonna topple order everywhere it's very nimble but it just feels like all the weight is like literally right there under me and i'm able to kind of throw it around a lot more because of that i feel like i could be real aggressive with this especially the fact that it's so high so you could really get into the corners with this bike and you know if you want to be that type of rider in here then yeah you could be that type of rider you know be scraping pegs now there's so much stuff so much tech on this um you got the rdrs on here you got all type of trash and control you got those brembo brakes in the front which work amazing um abs it, it's just it, it's just the list goes on and on and on there's like a lot of stuff that i can't even remember right now of uh, so much tech that's packed into this bike um but just they, they did a, an amazing job man um really quick you know like this is a new segment that harley davidson is kind of hopping into obviously this is harley davidson's first adventure bike um we all know that bmw is king when it comes to adventure riding um and everybody saw hey you know what harley's gonna try to make this bike because Harley doesn't know what they're doing right now and they're making all type of different bikes and their sales are down and blah 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 and a lot of people thought that this bike was just going to be a bomb and not sell and people weren't going to like it but since this bike released they've been selling out like crazy it's very rare when you walk into a Harley dealership and you might see one of these on the sales floor and if you see them it's because they got a hold and they're already sold <clears throat> um as far as for the dealerships around my way i know every time i go to bergen and there's one it's like already sold every time even before they come in there's already deposits on them the fact that people are really interested in buying this bike and they're really after it it, it just it tells you that long run they are definitely in the right track they're doing something really good um and especially at the price point that is at um the special starts at 19 999 so right under twenty thousand dollars um if you want the regular one uh that's gonna be around 17,300 which is really good so pricing is very competitive um if you want the adaptive uh ride height that's gonna be an additional thousand bucks i think um and if you want the spoke wheels that's an additional as well on top of that but obviously as any car any bike uh the more you put on it obviously the more you're gonna be coming out of pocket but i feel that the pricing was very very strategic they did a wonderful job they didn't kill themselves with that the same way they did with the live wire pricing that bike at thirty thousand bucks and now you can find those bikes for twenty thousand dollars brand new um they did really good with this uh i think if harley davidson would have came out they would have been like well you know this bike is gonna be twenty eight thousand dollars or twenty nine then they would have they would have bombed um pricing is great design is great performance is definitely up there top tier um and I, me uh, i mean this is coming from a guy who rides a road glide and a low rider s do i see myself on this bike I, yes like i love it since i've had this bike since i picked it up but this is all i really want to ride i haven't been on my road glide all week and i haven't been well on the low rider s yeah i went out to philly um but that's because i, I haven't picked this bike up yet but i've been on this bike all week and i i want to keep riding this bike it's fun it's it's i'm comfortable it looks good and the type of attention i've gotten on this bike just from random people even people who don't ride they would just pull up and ask me questions they were like whoa like what is that that's the more questions what is that what, what what bike is that i'm like oh it's a harley They're like no no way that's not a harley i'm like yeah, it's a harley davidson man um it's it's definitely an eye-opener in my opinion uh take it with a grain of salt this is the most attractive adventure bike there is out there when it comes to design the most beautiful bike and i've said it since uh the design first came out um and like i said before though the pricing is very attractive as well so you, you get you're getting a lot of bike for your bike Let, let's compare something real quick you're getting oh look at that hill assist as well i forgot to mention that that's more tech this bike comes with hill assist and all this rdrs and the, the core and abs cornering and all type of stuff <laughs> like it i could just go on the list goes on and on and on and on it's just it's, it's just a big wow factor when it comes to it i'm gonna be making a lot more videos with this bike like i said before huge huge shout out to bergen 
County Harley Davidson for lending me this bike for a whole month, man. Uh, and thanks for you guys for watching because if it wasn't for you guys watching my videos, I wouldn't be able to be doing all this cool stuff that I'm doing now, like this. Like, hey, they, they loan me a bike. Like, this is great, man. If you guys have further questions or comments, drop them down in the comment section down below. Um, let me know what else you want to know about this bike. Like I said before, I'm going to be taking it off-road. I'm going to be doing a bunch of other uh, different videos and discussions and comparisons as well. So there's going to be a lot of uh, more content to come with this. Well, can't say we didn't take the bike off-road today. <laughs> We're in the parking lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, man amazing bikes uh one thing i forgot to mention was the adapted uh light so at night uh during the day this lights off but during the nighttime when you're out riding it'll turn on and it'll just what adapt to whatever if you turn right these if you turn right these three lights go on and light as you turn the more you lean the more all three go on it'll start with one and two and it brightens the whole so depending on how you corner it, the left side will come on and it'll brighten up. <coughs> if you're like leaned over, over, it'll yeah. light up the whole thing. People think I come with high beams. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're really bright. You got the LED headlight right there with the Harley Davidson logo uh, embedded there in the, in the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but just love the design of this light here. I really like this color. Jerry doesn't like this green color here at all. I, I think it's pretty cool. I My favorite color used to be the white and orange one, but that white and blue, oh, for 2022, it's just beautiful, man. I like the exposed exhaust out here as well. You get to see the 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 heat just turn that, uh, that pipe different colors, which looks pretty cool. Looks pretty badass. Um, you got tubeless tires on here as well, which is also a plus as well. Um, also, inverted forks. Oh, you got the inverted front end right here, which feels great. Um, more sportier, more more up, more upright. Um, just just feels good, man. I think we pretty much covered everything. Then I'll give you guys a nice little walk around of the bike as well. I like the uh, the back the back light right there. Somehow, if I'm able to get rid of all this mechanism right here and put my plate somewhere else, I think it'll clean up the bike a lot more in the back. Obviously, you know, changing out the exhaust, putting something smaller on. The special also comes with the center stand, as right here, as you can see. So you're able to stand it up on that center stand. It comes with these pegs right here. I wish that they were a bit wider honestly but yeah you could buy bigger ones um but they feel great they have really good grip um just an amazing bike all around man like there's just a few little things that i don't like like i said i don't like the the mirrors i feel like this when you adjust it it just feels like a little you know you hear that till you hear that it's like a little shaky and rattly when you're kind of trying to change it just doesn't feel like harley davidson you know pristine uh workmanship right there but i mean i don't like that i don't like the mirrors <laughs> that that's pretty much all i can really point out that i don't like about this bike as far as performance it performs really well uh looks great Th this bike is here to stay this bike is here to you know make a move and 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 just stand tall and it's here man the harley davidson pan america that's gonna be it guys if you're new to my channel make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime i upload any type of new content and like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace